Okay, this is example one on section four or five, the applied problems. And what this problem is about is uh, we have three football players, player A, B, and C, who've made this many intercept sacks, interceptions, and key tackles. For example, player A made two sacks, no interceptions, and four tackles, so on for player B and player C. Then each receives uh, a bonus for uh, certain things. For example, a sack is worth a thousand dollars and an interception is worth seven hundred fifty dollars and a key tackle is worth five hundred dollars and we're supposed to use matrices to calculate their total bonus so the bonus for player A, let's do this without using matrices he got two sacks, each sack is worth a thousand dollars so that's two thousand dollars no interceptions so he doesn't get any of the seven hundred fifty zero times seven hundred fifty and four key tackles each worth five hundred dollars each so that's uh, four times five hundred is two thousand so that was 2,000 plus nothing plus this was 2,000 so the bonus for player A is 4,000 and we could do the same thing for player B and player C but let's use matrices now so what we'll do is on the Excel sheet under the matrices I put up uh, one area here for the original matrix which is the number of sacks, interceptions, and key tackles I just typed these in above it so we'd have it here for reference um, and then this is uh, player A, player B, and player C now this is the dollar amount. Over here is the dollar amount that they receive for sacks, uh, interceptions, and key tackles. Now if I set up the matrix this way, they will multiply together because how you multiply matrices again is you take this first row times this first column. And there's three numbers in this uh, first row and there's three numbers in this first column. So we will get 4,000 and that is the bonus for player A right here. This is the bonus for player B and this is the bonus for player C. Now you might be saying, well, why didn't you put this matrix over here and this matrix over there? Well, for a couple reasons. One is the units wouldn't line up, sacks wouldn't be with sacks, and so on. But also, uh, this the numbers wouldn't line up. If this was over here and these th nine numbers were over on the right, then I only have one number in this row, and I have three numbers in this column, so they wouldn't line up. So sometimes they'll line up and give you the wrong answer. If I would have done these three numbers as a row in this matrix over here, they would have lined up, but the units wouldn't have lined up. Here when I'm multiplying these, when I think of these three numbers being rotated around on top of here, then I can th I see that I have two sacks worth $1,000 per sack. Zero interceptions worth $750 per interception, and four key tackles worth $500 per key tackle, and that's where the 4000 comes from. So this is the right answer, and this is the bonus for player A, B, and C. Let's go on to the next problem, and on this problem it says that we have a hospital that has four floors, and there's a basement and three floors above that. The basement elevator will go to all three floors and of course back to the basement and the elevator on the ground floor will go to floor one, two, and three but not to the basement. Sort of like Memorial Hospital in a way. And there is also a fire escape that goes from the third floor straight down to the first floor and there is no door at the second floor. Now part A says make a matrix that describes the number of ways that go directly from floor to floor. Well, there's no way to go directly from the basement to the basement. You wouldn't get on an elevator in the basement and say take me to the basement. So that's a zero. Same way with first to first floor and second to second floor and third to third floor. But to go from the basement to the first floor there is one way. Use this elevator. From basement to second floor there is one way. Again use this same elevator. This is directly. Okay, So we can't think of going up to the first floor switching elevators and going up. We're going directly. For example the reason this is two right here. First to the second floor. You have two ways to get go from the first floor to the second floor. You could use this elevator or this elevator. Um, this is a three right here. First to third floor is three because you could use this elevator, this elevator, or if you're desperate, you could use the fire escape. So that's how we got this matrix here. Now part B says square this matrix. In other words, take the matrix times itself. So let me put this matrix, 0, 1, 1, 1, and so on, into uh, the Excel sheet. So uh, I think we had, uh, let me put these in here. So just give me a second to uh, put these values in. One, zero, two, three. And we also have uh, one, two, zero, two.
and the last row 1320 and now I'm going to multiply it by itself now I could retype those numbers over there or what I'm going to do is highlight them right click and choose copy click on the first cell right click and choose paste special as values as we've done before now I have the two matrices in and it automatically multiply together and I get this new matrix 3 5 4 5 and so on and that's the answer that I have uh, right back here in the book so if you want to check those numbers and compare it to the book here's the numbers 3 5 4 5 now the question is what does this matrix tell you okay well this new matrix actually tells you the number of ways to go from one floor to another floor with one stop in other way in other words there are for example are five ways to go from the basement to the first floor with one stop and you could list all those ways but uh, we'll do that one anyway there are five ways to go from the basement to the first floor with one stop okay you could go to, from the basement to the second floor and then back down to the first floor you could go from the basement to the third floor and back down to the first. You could go from the basement to the uh, uh, third, second floor then switch elevators and come back down. You could go basement to the third, switch elevators and come back down to the first. Or you could go basement to the third floor and use the fire escape to come back down. And I just listed five ways and that's the total amount of ways that there are. And I definitely don't feel like listing the 14 ways that you could go from first floor to first floor, but this type of thing of squaring a matrix to get the number of ways to go from one place to another place with one stop is used in a lot of transportation problems, for example, flying from city to city. If you know all the ways to go directly from a city to city with no stops, then just square that matrix and that tells you the number of ways to go from city to city with one stop. If you would have cubed this matrix, in other words, take the this matrix times the original matrix that would tell you the number of ways to go from floor to floor with two stops and uh, that's a pretty good example of uh, of uh, application of matrices